Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make coins during Team of the Season with repeatable SBCs, how you can prepare for them. So if you guys do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get to 30 likes on this one. So we're going to get started. Um, it is Serie A right now, but this is going to work for the League 1 as well. This has worked for everyone so far in the past. We have gotten repeatable SBCs every Sunday. So expect to be repeatable SBCs on this upcoming Sunday. Now, how can you get ready for these repeatable SBCs? We like to invest in gold rares as one of them and gold commons as the other one. So if we look at the market right now, you're going to see on PlayStation at least that all rares are currently going for around 900 coins. This is going to dip throughout the day of Saturday. If you're watching this on Saturday, it's currently Saturday morning for me. Um, these could get as low as 800 coins just because we're going to have promo packs causing the prices to go down. But when it comes to bidding, you still have the option to pick these up for cheaper on bidding. So what I do is I'd set a 650 filter. I try to bid 650 to 700 coins on these if you can and start getting them in your club now what's the reason for this why would you want to start doing this a lot of these cards are going to shoot up in price once we get repeatable svcs whether it's the 25k league specific packs whether it's the player picks a lot of people like to do these the second they come out and thus the price gets shot up so if you can have these stored in your club ready to go if you want to go unlisted that's another good way of doing it this is really going to help you not only make coins but if you're someone who is going to either make packs or wanted fodder to potentially do these repeatable SBCs, you're going to be set same thing goes with the common golds although these aren't my favorite to trade with because they can change a lot in price and it's very hard to pick them up sometimes you can see right now that these are going for way less coins obviously um but there's points where these reach the levels that the golds are so if we look at the buy now it looks like 400 coins if we go to 300 coins for a max price you can see that people are already starting to bid these up if you can put a 300 coin bid on a 75 rated card you can't lose a single coin you can quick sell it for 300 you're good to go i would try to do that and then everything else pick up for 350 again store these in your club if you want to try to flip them now for profit i would look for league sbc cards so all the top leagues you got prem you got syria league one bundesliga those sort of things are going to be really easy to flip in the moment but also going to be good investments later on so those are going to be the two main ones i'm going to have you guys focus on i'm going to show you some other ones too and kind of what my grind is going to be so this is going to be like the second part of the video this is not necessarily for repeatable sbcs but this is going to be for making a lot of packs so if we look we have the sudamericana and we have the libertadores they have come back one of them gives you a 50k pack a rare players pack one of them gives you a prime gold players pack this one is going to be six rares six non-rares golds um the lib one at the end one is going to be 12 rare gold players that you get in a pack both these are going to be really good to grind throughout the course of these team of the seasons and as you see the first team starts with needing 11 same with the second one but as you go up these get less and less lib players you actually need and the more you go up it's the higher the rating and the same chem so as long as you can keep the chem and you can get the amount of lib cards you need in you're going to be able to get a lot of decent packs that will give you quite a bit of fodder so if you want to try to bid on lib cards that's another good way of doing this as an investment lib cards are seen as a rare card so if you bid on a lib gold card um, it's going to have the same value as the investment for the gold rares that we're currently doing typically their price is a little bit less so even if you miss the buying period for the gold rares you pick up lib rares and they should be a little bit cheaper if not around the same price you got the mega pack at the end for six brazilian players this is one of my favorite packs to do super easy and you can get a lot of fodder throughout the course of it so what i'm going to show you guys is more of the sudamericana grind this one's my favorite because it's really easy to pick up these cards and there's only seven teams if we start at the top you need 11 rare players six argentina and that gives you a rare election players back this one's probably the most expensive options you can get a lot of these cards as you go while opening packs you just kind of playing the game but if you go and just buy these down the market you can get a lot of these cards for under 1500 coins sudamericana i'm gonna show you guys the filter i set up on this but you get a lot of these packs and you go through this a lot of times just by these simple methods so 
This should continue to work. It might range depending on their price and the console you're on, but kind of keep this in mind. So if we go to Sudamericano real quick, let's just put in defenders and look at the lowest buy now. You're going to see that everything's going for at least 250 coins. So if you wanted to go in for defenders, bid 150, bid 200 coins, you should be able to get a lot of these. You might want to try different filters though, because sometimes it might show that there's only a couple cards within the first 10 minutes. But then you do the same exact filter a little bit later, and it gives you a whole bunch of different options. Just kind of always keep an eye on that. I go to the midfielders, kind of take your try there, see if you can pick these up for 150. This is going to help you through the earlier teams where you need essentially all lib players, or not all lib, all Sudamericana players. But as you get further up when it comes to the packs, you're going to want to be more specific when it comes to cap. So what I like to do, I like to do Argentina players. I'll typically put a 250 um, bid on these cards. You can always compare price too to see what they're going for. You can bid up to their buy now. You can try to sell it for around the buy now if you're wanting to make some coins. This is a really easy way of picking these up. It's a really beneficial way of getting the chem needed. Now, why do I choose Argentina players? Why am I not going with a different nation? There's not many nations in Sudamericana that have a lot of silver card options and gold card options. Argentina gives you the link to be able to go in and we can do silver commons now where you bid 150 and I like to put a minimum buy now 400 coins. I like to run through here and look at which cards we could pick up. So let's say I wanted to get the striker. He's an MLS card as well. So he has some value there. If I want to pick up the striker for 150, looks like I could sell him for 300 coins within the hour. So not only could I double my coins, but I could use this in a solution if I wanted to. Let's say if it only had me needing five Sudamericana cards for a team. So that's going to be really beneficial as well. I'm going to continue to make packs from that. My goal is to try to get that done three times a day. If we kind of look, we're already starting to save these up. I'm probably saving for League One. I don't know what Serie A has that I would need. I mean, we already have a Team of the Year Ronaldo. A Team of the Season Ronaldo is going to be pretty similar. So I think I'm just going to start saving all these packs. But essentially, if you were to open these up, these are what I would do to get your fodder. So once you kind of get a format down for how you want to do League SBCs, if that's something you do want to grind, instead of me going to the market and trying to buy rare gold cards or common gold cards, I get all my fodder from these packs. So if I run out of fodder, I just keep making more of these packs. Reason being, you can pack cards through these, like the Team of the Seasons, Special Cards, Informs, work towards the... Um, player SBCs that come out through here. And then also too, worst case scenario, if it's a really bad pack, we get nothing out of it. We at least have the fodder. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, very similar format that we've done before. I don't think too much is gonna be changing. I'm gonna mass invest in Silver Argentinos and just keep going through this grind. So I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, let's see if we can get 30 likes on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you next time. It's been your boy Mumbuli. I'm out. Peace.